Uh, what about your hotel, your um, quarantine facility that you announced uh, that will be built, I think, what, in the middle of next year? Do you still need that? Um, I think regional quarantine facilities are going to be needed into the future. We can't predict what's going to happen, but there may be a country that's declared a, uh, a, a red spot or a, a no-go zone area and we may need to bring back people from those different countries and they'll need to be charted in. It's no different to what we saw, uh, what we have seen during this pandemic. Uh, we'll also need it for unvaccinated people. Well, 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 naughty, naughty Anastasia. You just admitted on camera that you've got a plan to put the unvaccinated into quarantine camps that you're building outside Brisbane and outside major cities. Listen to this, my fellow Australians. This is what the mainstream media won't pick up on. But Palaszczuk, the Queensland Premier, just admitted on camera that she is building quarantine camps for the unvaccinated. Listen to this. Quarantine facility that you announced uh, that will be built, I think, what, in the middle of next year. Do you still need that? Um, I think regional quarantine facilities are going to be needed into the future. Uh, we'll also need it for unvaccinated people. Unvaccinated people. Unvaccinated people. Now you've heard that, that's her words, not my words. She admitted that it's for the unvaccinated. Now look what she says next. The same day, at a different press conferences, she actually threatens uh, us, Australians. She says, get vaccinated before it's too late. This is your last opportunity. This is your last chance to get vaccinated. What do you mean too late? What, you're gonna come and arrest us and put us into camps? Is that, what, is that where we're headed? Is that where we're headed, Australia? Is that what's going on? If you dare raise a finger at any of us or any of my fellow Australians, well, we'll see what happens.